This video is going to be somewhat similar to one I made before, um, but I'd like to re-emphasize the point, so to speak. Um, explain the context. I've just been watching on YouTube the 1985 uh, boxing match between Donald Curry and uh, Colin Jones for the World Weltership World, sorry, World Welter, World Welterweight Championship. Um, sorry for that. It's, it's early hours in the morning, um, and I uh, basically that fight uh, Curry won um, after the doctor intervened. Uh, Jones had badly cut nose, so the fight was stopped. Um, full credit to Jones. He was a very courageous fighter. He came through there. He tried his hardest. Curry won the fight. Now, um, what caught my attention was uh, as soon as uh, Curry won, uh, you got Welsh fans throwing beer bottles into the ring and uh, aiming them at Curry and so on. Um, and he'd done absolutely nothing wrong. His only uh, sort of offence was to win the fight. Um, you know, I have to say, as a Briton, these sort of fans really make me sick to the core. Um, I do sympathise with Jones, uh, you know, he was very, he was in tears, he was that disappointed, and that's very understandable. But no fighter should have to endure, endure the sort of um, disgusting behaviour that uh, Donald Curry endured. And this has happened before in Britain. Um, in 1980, when Marvin Hagler fought uh, Alan Minter, um, again, Hagler won the fight, and the crowd that that one was in London, it was even worse. He had chairs and everything being thrown in. It was it was just disgusting, disgusting behaviour. Um, I honestly think fans like this are the scum of the earth. I think they're just filth. The reason I say that is because they're not the ones in the ring. They're not the ones, um, you know, fighting for people's entertainment. Um, no fighter should have to go through that. Um, and it might sound strange in the context of a boxing match, but if you're throwing coins and so on into the ring, into the ring that, can, that can seriously injure someone permanently. Not an injury in the sense of a boxing match. Like I said, it might sound strange because people get hit in fights and so on. But, you know, it's just fucking, it's disgusting behaviour. And these fans, they, and it's the same at football matches. I think recently Rio Ferdinand got hit by a coin. Just, what what the fuck is it with these shitty fans that can't behave like adults? What, ah, uh, it really makes me sick. Um, and it is a big problem we have in Britain. I'd say one of the worst elements of this country is the behaviour of our sports fans specifically in football and boxing. Um, football's cleaned up its act a bit, but I believe boxing still has this problem. Um, there is undercurrents of racism, but it isn't just that. It's also just a general disgusting lack of respect for other fighters. Now, I'm not stupid. I, I know that in a fight, it's a charge atmosphere, and naturally there's a patriotic, patriotic atmosphere when you have a world title fight on the line. I fully appreciate that, and I have no problem with fans enthusiastically backing their man. That's understandable. Boxing would be very boring without that. So you do need a strong fan base, and you need that sort of support. It motivates a fighter, and it's entirely understandable, especially if it's in, uh, on the fighter's home ground. This, this fight was in Birmingham, a fight between Jones and Curry, so it was in Britain. But there's no justification for... Taking that loyalty to one fighter to the extent of a disgusting lack of respect towards another fighter. Now contrast this with um, the fan basis of uh, Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao. They're both great fighters, but the important thing is they both respect each other, and their fan bases seem to respect each other as well. You know, after Marquez won the fight. Uh, I saw Marquez fans saying, you know, great respect to Pacquiao, he came out, he tried his best, we respect him. And Pacquiao fans, in my view, are always very respectful, they're enthusiastic. But, you know, I, I respect Filipinos because they're enthusiastic fans, they, they get the balance right, they're patriotic, they're enthusiastic, but they never show a la lack of respect to other fighters, at least not, you know, um, 
British fight fans, uh, I'm not saying all of them, but frankly, a lot of them have a disgusting lack of respect and they don't seem to differentiate between supporting our fighters and just embarrassing the country and looking like racist yobs. And it, it really sickens me. Um, we've seen this with Ricky Hatton fans a few times, and I'm not attacking Ricky Hatton personally, I'm talking about his fans. Um, and we've seen this with a few others, and to be honest, I'm absolutely fed up with it. I'm also fed up with the sort of responses that, oh, you're gay, you're gay. Listen, kid, I, I, I've got more fucking class than you'll ever have. I'm, talk I'm referring to the little shits that would say something like that. I'm a real boxing fan. I, I, I'm talking about simply respecting the fighters. Look, in the end of the day, these guys go into the ring for our entertainment. And there will always be better fighters than others. That, that's the same in any competitive field. You, you could take that in any sport. You could take it in politics. You could take it in music. Anything. Some people will always be more successful than others. But I defy anyone... To say it's easy to enter a ring in front of thousands of people and pitch your skills against another man. When people call fighters cards, they're just full of shit. Um, the real cards are those who are sitting in the audience um, throwing things when the fighter can't defend himself against that. It's disgusting, disgusting behaviour from gutless pigs. Um, I, I can't emphasise enough how much I despise these people. Because I believe they're bringing the sport into disrepute. They're bringing this country into disrepute. And it's just disgusting on justified behaviour. Now I know there's some fighters that have pretty, um, are not good role models as well. The likes of Derek Chisora. He's just allowed my thug. Um, but I really believe that no fighter should have to endure that sort of um, yobbish behaviour. And I'm not saying we're the only country that is characteristic of this. It's happened in other countries. There was a similar brawl and uh, there was a similar post for fight riot in Argentina. There's certainly been incidents in the US. Uh, looking back to the turn of the last century, there was some disgusting racism at uh, Jack Johnson fights. But generally, you know, boxing's a tough sport. It's a match of sport. But that doesn't mean it has to be classless. It doesn't mean it has to have this sort of disgusting behaviour. Um, you know, when I brought this issue up, someone once said, Oh, what do you expect? Do you think this is ballet? That isn't the point. You can have class whilst the sport maintains its toughness, etc. Uh, it just... And if you do this, uh, if you, you know, uh, throw things at fighters and stuff, you're pawned life. You're a card. You're just a gutless, pathetic excuse for a human being who's probably doing nothing with your own life. No fighter is a card. No man who enters a ring pitches his skills against another man as a card. I have respect for any man who enters a ring. Now, look, there's fighters I respect more than others. And I also accept the argument that some fighters um, avoid challenges. And in the sporting sense, that's probably cardly. But generally speaking, they're not cards. Not to enter a ring and fight another man in front of thousands of people. What, what sort of warped mindset would call that cardist? So in this video, I'm just really expressing my disgust for those fi those fans who cannot get the balance right. To me, a good fan will back their man, of course, show patriotism. Um, you know, that's part of the appeal of the sport, the energy of it. But there's no excuses for that sort of behaviour, and it really sickens me. And I believe um, boxing associations need to get their act together and do what football's done. These sort of fans need a life ban, i.e. they should never be allowed to attend the fight again. Because they're not only putting the fighters at risk when they're throwing missiles into the ring, they're putting it, you know, judges at risk, the referee at risk, um, other fans at risk. It's just disgusting, pathetic, infantile behaviour. And um, they're not real fans, they're just animals, and not in a good way. Um, I, I really... It disgusts me, absolutely. I'm not talking about enthusiastic fans, you know, cheering their man. That That's like to be expected. That's part of the game. But it, it really sickens me. And there's no, you know, you, you're a card. If you do that or if you support that, then you're a gutless card. 
I, I really do believe fans who do this should be banned for life, and that's all I really have to say on the matter. Um, I'm not focusing particularly on any fighter or any group of fans. Well, I'm focusing on British fans, but... Um, also, I, I believe fighters have a responsibility. If their fans are acting like that, I believe they have a responsibility to speak out and distance themselves from it and say, look, I don't approve of this. I appreciate the support, but I, I don't condone that sort of behaviour. Um, I believe fighters have a responsibility to do that. And the various boxing associations have a responsibility to... Because when it happens, it's always like, oh, this is terrible behaviour, or uh, uh, it's getting ugly now, but nothing ever happens to these scumbags. They need CCTV, they need to catch them out, just like they do at football matches, and give them a life ban, and say this sort of behaviour is unacceptable. Um, they're just pigs, in my opinion. Complete pigs. And I am focusing on Britain because I live here and I, I see the behaviour of some so-called fans in this country. And I do believe our fans are disrespectful to fighters from other countries. There's a real xenophobic air a lot of the time. And um, they'll deny that, but I think there is. Let's just be honest about it, there is. Um, and I, I'm not demonising all British fans. A lot of British fans get the balance right. I'm just saying that it is a problem in this country. It's You can't deny it. And don't come back and say, oh, they're, they're just enthusiastic. Filipino fans are enthusiastic, but they don't they go on like this. Mexican fans are enthusiastic, but I, I don't see them going on like this. Maybe they do, you know, maybe you could show me a fight where they have behaved like that. But, you know, we need to clean up our act. It's disgusting. And I don't blame people for being put off boxing when you see this sort of shit. Um, I'll leave it there, but just disgusting behaviour. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you're a boxing fan, tell me what you think of this. Tell me um, what sort of ways you think it could be controlled. If you're coming on to justify it, then uh, I'm going to tell you what I think of that. Because there is no justification. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, who's the bigger man? The man who's getting into the ring and fighting in front of thousands of people, pitching his skills against another man? And a man hiding behind a computer screen and calling a fighter a card. <laughs> Most of them have never entered a ring in their lives. Um, you know, I've never entered a ring. That's why I never call a fighter a card. Because it wouldn't be appropriate. Okay, I'll leave it there.